In the previous video, we learned how to perform calculations and completed that part. In today's video, we will see how to insert tabular form data into a database object, meaning a table. So, first, I will create a process. I have named the process tabular form process. Before writing the PL slash SQL code, I need to create a type in SQL. This type can be used in PL slash SQL procedures or functions to store and process multiple numbers at once. Now I will create a sequence for tabular form. Next, I will go back to the process. This declares a PL slash SQL variable V underscore existing underscore IDs using the collection type T underscore part underscore IDs. It will store existing IDs from the database, which can be used later for validation or processing. This loops through tabular form data, G underscore F10, checks for non null values, and stores them in V underscore existing underscore IDs. V underscore existing underscore IDs dot extend expands the collection. V underscore existing underscore IDs, V underscore existing underscore IDs dot count equals TO underscore number, Apex underscore application dot G underscore F10, I stores valid IDs as numbers. This loops through tabular form data, g underscore f01, checks if item underscore no is not null, and starts a begin block for insert or update operations. This declares variables to store tabular form data, v underscore quantity, v underscore rate store quantity and rate. V underscore disk underscore percent, v underscore disk underscore amt store discount percentage and amount. V underscore tax stores tax value. V underscore order underscore item underscore ID stores the ID for an order item, used for update slash insert. This checks if G underscore F10, I, exists and is not null, then converts it to a number and assigns it to V underscore order underscore item underscore ID. Purpose, ensures PO underscore item underscore ID is retrieved from the tabular form. Used later for updating existing records instead of inserting new ones. This checks if G underscore F02, I, quantity, is not null, then converts it to a number and assigns it to V underscore quantity. Purpose, ensures the quantity value from the tabular form is stored for processing, insert slash update. Converts the rate value from G underscore F03 and stores it in V underscore rate. Retrieves the discount percentage from G underscore F05 and assigns it to V underscore disc underscore percent. Retrieves the discount amount from G underscore F06 and assigns it to V underscore disc underscore AMT. Retrieves the tax value from G underscore F07 and stores it in V underscore tax. I had used V underscore VAT here, but it should be V underscore tax. So, I corrected it. This inserts a new record into the order underscore DTLS table using values from the tabular form. SEQ underscore order underscore DTLS dot next will generates a new order detail ID. P9 underscore order underscore ID references the parent order ID. Item, quantity, rate, discount, and tax values come from Apex form inputs, G underscore FXX, and stored variables. Purpose, saves new order details dynamically. END, closes the inner declare block, variable declarations. END, 
closes the begin block handling each row's insert slash update. And if ends the check for non null item entries. End loop ends the loop iterating through tabular form rows. END completes the entire PL slash SQL process. I am selecting the create button so that when it is clicked, the process executes. Now I will insert data into both the master and details tables. Now I am clicking create. Now I will check in the table whether the data has been inserted or not. Yes. We can see that the data has been successfully saved in both the master and details tables. I will now insert another data record. So, we can see that the data is being saved in both the master and details tables.